In this video, we are going to understand why United States cannot produce more oil, what is holding them back and what are the reasons. And this applies not only for United States, for every country that produces oil and gas. Alright then, let's begin. As you may know, in the month of June, Joe Biden had visited Saudi Arabia and I've also made a video on it. And the main reason behind his visit to Saudi Arabia was to convince the Saudi prince for producing more oil. But he failed. In fact, oil prices have risen and the OPEC countries have also cut their oil production. And obviously, United States did not like it. The US President Joe Biden even said Saudi Arabia will have to face consequences. So basically, United States has threatened Saudi Arabia for not listening and supporting their interests. Apart from the threats, you can also feel that the US President is also kind of desperate. The Biden administration has also asked Saudi Arabia, or I would say requested Saudi Arabia, to at least postpone the decision of cutting oil production by a month. And you know the reason behind the request, or rather desperation, because the US midterm elections are round the corner in November. And whether you like it or not, Joe Biden's approval rating has gone down massively. US citizens are slowly losing faith in Democrats. Since Biden arrival in 2021, Democrats literally have created mess. So because of the US midterm elections, Joe Biden has requested Saudi Arabia, who is also the leader of oil producing group OPEC, to increase their oil production. So that there is some relief in the fuel prices in North American and European domestic market. United States is slowly moving towards recession. In fact, it has started. Just last month, that is September, the US Federal Bank has hiked their interest rate by 75 basis points. This is the fifth time they have done in this year. IMF has already published a report wherein Germany and Italy has almost entered recession, which is going to only increase by the beginning of next year. So naturally, Joe Biden and his government will face the heat in the coming midterm elections. Now, because of that, Joe Biden has requested Saudi Arabia and said, if you can't increase your oil production, at least delay your decision of cutting down your oil production by one month so that I can manage this midterm election somehow. At first, Joe Biden said Saudi Arabia is going to face consequences. If you see, this is typical US behavior, either you with us or against us. And then on the other hand, US is also requesting Saudi Arabia that at least listen to my appeal and delay your decision. Now, if a person is being angry, at the same time willing to have some kind of negotiation, because elections are nearby, that is the right time to exercise control. Saudi is trying to control, and Saudi is not alone. Putin is also silently behind it. Saudi Arabia is very well aware of the fact that they have got a good opportunity to dictate terms to the US government, which, if you see, is a rare opportunity for any country. Anyhow, so Saudi Arabia has rejected United States' request. So now the most important question is, why United States cannot produce more oil? What is holding them back? They can easily drill oil as much as they want, they also have a huge geographical area and can easily become energy independent. So there are a couple of reasons behind why US cannot produce more oil and I will state them one by one. The first reason is, see the first thing that you have to understand is that the international energy market depends heavily on fossil fuels and it's been happening since decades. So it is very difficult to totally reject fossil fuels because the economic dependency is so much, the whole infrastructure is based on fossil fuel. And that makes it extremely difficult to reject fossil fuel. Otherwise, the whole economic system will collapse and it will have detrimental effect on people's lives. So this kind of domino effect is also applicable for American household and its domestic markets. Plus, you are also aware of the fact that the United States is already the world's largest producer of oil and gas. And another thing is that the American oil industry can produce more oil whenever they want. They have a lot of drilling permits on federal lands. In fact, if you remember, when Joe Biden arrived in the office in 2021, his government gave more drilling permits than anyone ever. So the American oil industry has lots of drilling permit and they can produce more oil whenever they want. But the reason American oil industries choose not to pump more oil is because that will increase the supply of oil. And if you know basic economics, if supply increases, prices come down. So the oil industry know their math very well. They know exactly what is the market demand and how much they should produce. Anything more or less will affect their profit. If you look at the major oil companies in America, just look at their profits in one year. How much of money they have made. And that too during pandemic, last year when people were suffering from job loss, pay cuts, high inflation, etc. 4.7% to 17.9%. Do you think this kind of profit comes from excess supply? 
excess supply will bring down the cost of fuel. So the first reason as to why US oil companies do not want to increase their production is because if they increase the supply, then their profit will go down and they will not be able to pay high dividends to their owners and investors. Now let's look at the second reason. It is somewhat similar to the first one. As you know, any oil and gas company have to first apply for a permit with the government and that permit will be valid for a certain amount of years where the government will give permissions to explore, drill and produce. The US government gives 10 years of lease. That means any oil and gas company will have at least 10 years at their disposal for making profit and execute their business plans. Now in the previous point, I mentioned about supply and price. If supply is more, then automatically the price will fall because energy demand will always be high. It is an essential commodity. Now in this equation, along with supply and price, add another factor that is time, 10 years. And then also add the area of lease, how much of land or ocean has been allotted to you by the government in your permit. So when you put all these four factors and then keep your profit in mind, you will realize that 1. You should not drill excess of oil because that will flood the market with cheap oil. And 2. You will also realize that you have a lot of unused land because if you explore or drill more, then naturally your supply will increase and that will affect your profit. Now, one may say that the government should give less portion of land to each company for exploration. That means you are also indirectly saying that bring more oil companies, give more permits. Now, that will automatically increase competition because now there are more players. And always remember, in a market, if there are more competitors, then it breaks a monopoly. And that also reduces profit share. And this is something that the oil giants, the big oil and gas industries who spend billions of dollars every year on lobbying so that the government functions according to their interests. They will never allow the government to bring more competition. And another fact is that oil and gas industry is an expensive industry. Not every businessman or billionaire will have interest as well as the money to get into this industry. They will happily invest, but they don't want to run the business. Suppose if you are a billionaire, why would you run your own oil and gas company when you can invest your money and get good returns without doing much hard work? So the big oil and gas giants will not allow government to increase competition. Plus, they will also not drill more and flood the market with cheap oil. Now let's go to the third reason. As you know, right now the world is facing energy shortage. That is the reason prices of crude has gone up. Now as a citizen or as a consumer, you may say, well, why doesn't the government force the oil and gas company to produce more oil? The government should strictly order these companies to start new projects, produce more oil, increase the supply and meet the immediate energy demand. Even that is not possible because if you want to start a new project, as you know, oil and gas is extracted from both land as well as sea. On land, it is called onshore production and on water, it is called offshore production. So to set up the facility, it takes almost two to three years. In the sea, you must have seen those floating rigs that takes even more time to build and operate. When government gives permit, of course, it does take few months because there are many necessary protocols that need to be followed. Hundreds of NOC and documents need to be signed. But apart from the permit, the whole setup takes around two to three years. So starting new projects will not have any effect in meeting short term energy demand. Plus to start a new project, these oil and gas companies, they heavily rely on taxpayer subsidy. They always ask the government to give them some relief in the beginning. If you are a billionaire, are you going to put all your money to start a new oil and gas project and then immediately start paying taxes to the government? No, you'll not do that. You're going to demand the government to give you some tax relief or give you some subsidy or ease down on some rules and regulations because it's a heavy investment project. People who formulate rules and regulation in air conditioned offices, they don't know what happens on the ground for setting up a billion dollar business. As an owner, you don't want to kill yourself in starting a new project. So you will definitely have some demands from the government. And the government has to listen. Plus no government can force any private company, at least not in a democracy. And the last reason is, see, even the political parties, the ministers, the politicians, they will lack some political will. Everything cannot be black and white. You will have to walk the path of grey. Politicians have to balance their relations between big corporations who are running the economy for giving jobs, tax revenue, and they also fund their political campaigns. And then politicians also have to impress their vote banks and pressure groups. And then there are opposition parties who are looking for that one movement to throw you out of power. Even politicians have to fight for their political existence. So on one hand, they have to appeal to their vote banks. And on the other hand, they also have to listen to big corporations who are practically running a country's economy without being upfront. 
So because of this, even political parties and politicians don't put any kind of pressure on these big corporations. They try to balance it out. And then how much can you balance? There will be a moment when things will reach bottleneck. And that is exactly what Joe Biden and the US government is facing. That is why he has approached Saudi Arabia and had to request them to increase their oil production capacity so that there is enough supply of crude in the international energy market and the US oil industry can happily continue with their drilling limit and keep making profit. So it's not easy. You cannot drill and pump out oil as much as you want. That is going to flood the market with cheap oil. And if something is available for cheap, you lose respect for it. You become dependent on it. You will overuse it. Similarly, a country will become fossil fuel dependent. And these are non-renewable source of energy. That means when you drill somewhere and extract oil, and not just oil, it can be gas, it can be coal, that reserve is usually limited. So natural resources will eventually deplete. Then what do you do? Will you go again and drill somewhere else? This way, you're going to increase your fossil fuel dependency. In United States, people drive massive SUVs, diesel trucks. Everyone in a single house has their own separate vehicle. Simply because gas was cheap once upon a time. Just fill it up and keep roaming. Look at the fuel prices today in the United States. After pandemic, everywhere in the world the prices have gone up. But the US society has enjoyed the benefit of cheap oil for a very long time. Now many can't even afford to drive a car. Transportation cost has also gone up because of increase in fuel price. That is the reason Joe Biden went to Saudi Arabia. Even Saudi Arabia is aware of all this situation, even they are educated. Even they have happily and politely said no. If you want, you increase your own oil production. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.